Okay, we are home, and I'm going to show y'all what I picked up from Walmart today. A couple of more beautiful items. I picked up this little tool and gadget set, five piece, and I'll flash the price here. I didn't think that was a bad price at all, guys. I took this out of the package, and I think the quality is amazing. It's a silicone tip with a wood handle, and of course, it's in that cream, and y'all know I love the earthy wood, and it comes with this little holder or this little canister with a beautiful gold B on it. Now, if you didn't like the B, you know, you can just turn it around, but I think that is so cool. And what was included in it was, again, the little crock, a scraper spatula, a turner, a basting spoon, and a whisk. Again, from beautiful Miss Drew Barry Moore's collection, okay? Thought that was a beautiful item to pick up for that price. Then I picked this up. To my surprise, this was cheaper than they had it listed on the store shelves. I only paid $53 uh, for this, and they had it listed for $69. So a little uh, six-quart programmable slow cooker that I'm going to use today. It has uh, touched at activated display, okay? It's beautiful. My crock pot that was handed down to me uh, from Art's grandmother. It's on its last leg. So I said, you know what? I think I'm going to invest in a crock pot. This is one of those things where you invest in. And I'm hoping that this stands up to the quality of the one um, that has lasted generations in our family. So yeah, thank you, Miss Drew. And it's pretty also, even though I probably won't leave it out on the counter. Yeah. So glad I picked that up. So those are my two beautiful items that I picked up today. In addition to the beautiful items, I picked up some washcloths. Y'all know I love these, uh, 18 in a pack. And I think I showed you guys this in the store. So yeah, I always have those on hand. So now I have three of those. Every once in a while, my daughters request some good old fashioned dial antibacterial soap. So I picked up two packs of those. Then I picked up some Hellman's mayonnaise. These have gone up in price. They used to be 50 cents. And now they are 75 cents. Goodness gracious. I picked up three of those. They are oh so good. Oh so yummy. Uh, my little, we call them oodles of noodles, but the little noodles in a cup. I did see four of my favorite roasted chicken flavor. So I picked up the four that they had. And then the rest of them are just the regular chicken flavor. I also picked up some kale greens for some smoothies. All of this fruits and veggies are about to be part of a smoothie. I picked up two of the little Milo teas. I wish they had the big one, but they don't. So I just picked up two of those. I also picked up some yogurt, four of the mixed berry, and two of the peach. Look what's back. Yes, my sweet teas are back. And I hope they didn't change the flavor. I ended up ordering some of this, y'all, from Amazon. At least Magnolia did for me. Magnolia. But she ordered me some, and the taste was different. When I was looking at the reviews, uh, somebody was saying that they changed the, you know, recipe on it. So I'll see. At any rate, I have my K-Cups back, and I hope they taste like I remember them. For the Super Bowl, we had corn. So I picked up two more fresh ears of corn, two packages, four in a pack. I love the grapefruit from... Um, Walmart. And they don't have this often, but when they do, I grab it. Uh, this is from uh, Del Monte. It's the red grapefruit, no sugar added. And we love those. So I picked up two of those, just, you know, grapefruit segments. Okay. All of that was from previous hauls. Is that it guys? Is that it? No, no. I'm getting ready to cook inside of my new uh, slow cooker and my meats are over here. Y'all, I have a taste for some um, cabbage. So I picked up a cabbage and I needed some just regular bacon, some uh, thick sliced bacon. I haven't bought regular bacon in forever. I usually get the cooked variety, but I just picked up some, you know, thick sliced bacon to go inside of my, um, you know, to flavor up the cabbage. This little head of cabbage. I also picked up some ground beef, 80-20. And we're going to have pork chops tonight. And I'm thinking about putting the pork chops inside of my slow cooker. Yeah. I want to get a lot of use out of that. I was saying that this is kind of a big purchase, but has a lot of bang to it. If I do some slow cooking twice a week, that would be really good because it would save us some money. The food is always good when you slow cook it. And I'm going to see how those pork chops taste. It's getting a little late, so I better put them on uh, in a few seconds. Okay. And then I picked up some Tennessee Pride, a uh, little sausage and um, little sausage 
biscuits. We used to have this when I was a little girl at school. My grandmother worked in the cafeteria and they had the Tennessee Pride little sausage biscuits. So snack size, I hope they taste the same. Yeah, I think you just kind of microwave these or put them in the oven real quick. There we go. Yeah, just 40 seconds in the microwave. Let's stand in the microwave. But I remember having these seriously when we were little. My grandmother would have these in the freezer and I hope they taste as good as they used to. I used to love Tennessee uh, Pride's meats, uh, breakfast meats back in the day. And then I picked up just a uh, little socket to me cake, you know, the little cinnamon socket to me cake, one of those. Yeah, that's it, guys. These are my other beautiful items that I have yet to unbox. I'm getting ready to probably do a video. Um, the, I'm not even going to say the word, but I'm unboxing this. It's, I've had this almost two months, y'all. The uh, pots and pans that I got on a deal, the knife set, and this little beautiful portable to-go blender. I almost took this back, but I'm going to keep it. Yeah, so these are my beautiful items. I have one, two, three, four, five beautiful items. And, and I think the only I... other beautiful items that I want in my collection would be a blender. Now, I picked this blender up from Turn 7 for $20. This blender originally is like $60, okay? We use this on the Super Bowl. It's fine. But if I do find the beautiful blender, I think I'll get it because, you know, we make smoothies and that'll be a beautiful addition, you know, to the kitchen. This little portable blender almost got sent back. Yeah. And y'all remember the cookware that I found? A great deal for that. I'm going to unbox it now. And the little knife set. So I think all of this will be cute around, you know, the stove. Yeah. Yeah, aesthetically cute, especially matching the, you know, countertops. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video real soon. Jazz hands.